Are you trying to run a Google search campaign, but the keywords you have chosen says low search volume in the status? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video because I've got two possible ways you can solve this problem so that your campaign actually can start getting impressions and therefore clicks and hopefully conversions. So let's go dive into my account and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Oh, and don't forget, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. So here we are in my Google ad account. I've actually gone to a live campaign and I've gone to the keyword section here under search keywords. And as you can see here, the status says not eligible, low search volume and therefore no impressions and no clicks and really I'm just getting no traction whatsoever. If I hover over this status, it basically says that this keyword can't run ads because it's got little to no search history on Google and basically I'm nowhere to be found, okay? Having said that, sometimes I do find I can get impressions, even though I get the alert for low search volume, but most of the time I don't. So as I said, there's two ways you can possibly solve this. The first and possibly the easiest way is to try and broaden your location targeting. So you do this at a campaign level. You go to the campaign level, not in your ad groups, and you go to the locations and you try and expand the location. Now, this is really only relevant if you've got really tight location targeting. If you've chosen, let's say, a whole state or a whole country, then that is not going to solve this problem for you. But if you've chosen really tight location targeting, then that might solve the problem for you. The second way you can possibly solve this problem is by changing what's called the keyword match type. If you see here, the match type here, it says phrase match. Okay, so that's sort of um, a little bit more restricted in what my ad will show for. So I'm basically saying I need each of these words, although I have blurted out, I'm sorry, uh, to be somewhere in the search term. They can be in any particular order. If I change this match type to be broad match, then I'm going to open the door to a lot more search term variation. And then chances are my ad will actually be shown because it's going to have a lot more available search volume that's relevant for that keyword. If you're unsure what I mean about keyword match types, I'm going to put a link in the description to a video that talks about the different type of match types in your search uh, campaign because it's really, really important to choose the right match type. Um, so that you can kind of uh, get up to speed on what the difference in it are between those different match types as well. Alrighty, so those are the two possible ways you can solve that. And if either of those two suggestions don't work, then maybe you need to think about some possibly some different keywords to choose. Alrighty, hope this video is helpful. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.